Hey everyone, in this video we are painting the interior on our pop-up camper. So in this part we're just removing all the screws that are holding the cabinets in place, as well as all the trim pieces. And then removing the water tank and the service panel with all the electrical in it. Now we're gonna clean out the inside. We will be laying new vinyl flooring after we get the interior painted. And now it's time to take off all of the handles and hardwares on all the drawers and doors as well as clean them up. Now it's time to prime the wood. Here we're using a Valspar um, bonding primer and this is just going to help not only block out the brown color but also help the top coat to stick. Just before putting the primer on we lightly sanded all the wood. And here I am putting on all the primer on all the doors and drawers, making sure that there are no lines and that it goes on evenly. Back to the interior, laying more primer. Again, we're not looking for full coverage here, just looking for a nice even coat. First cutting everything in with a brush and then going back with the roller to smooth everything out. I'm working on the other side of the camper with primer as well, which took about two hours to dry once we were finished before we were able to put our first top coat on. Now that everything is all primed, we will go ahead and get started with our top coat. The top coat that we'll be using is a Valspar cabinet and furniture. It's an oil enriched enamel. Uh, it was recommended to us by some friends that also used it for their camper with success. So here I am just doing the same process as with the primer, cutting in first and then filling in with the roller. This paint is quite a bit thinner, so I noticed that it drips really easily. So just going back and smoothing everything out um, and watching for drips like that one. Unlike the primer, the top coat had to cure for 8 to 12 hours in between coats, so we let it dry overnight before applying the second coat. Here we're setting up to put on the top coat on all of the pieces we took out of the camper. Had a little better setup than we did for the primer.
Another important thing to remember is to keep this paint out of the sun um, because it isn't an oil enriched paint. Um, it does dry pretty quickly um, and it can get really gummy in the tray or on the brush if you leave it in the sun. Fast forwarding to day two with everything double coated. You can see we've got the new floor in. That'll be in a separate video. So now we're just working to reinstall, putting everything back where it was. All the cabinets in the same spots, using the same screws, same holes. Here we are reinstalling the mount for the post for the table. I had a little bit of difficulty finding where to put the mount for it, um, but ultimately we just felt around the vinyl for the old holes and matched it up. Then we put back on all of the hardware for the cabinets. We made sure to clean them up real nice before we put them back on also. Now reinstalling the final cabinet. After we got this in, we realized the countertop was in pretty bad shape, so we are removing it here. Um, that'll be in a later video, remaking our own countertop for it. All right, we're cleaning it out once again, trying to get it back together. Put in our cushions that we reupholstered ourselves. That will be in a separate video, how we did that as well. Here's the final product. We love how it came together with the color and the new final floor. We have a lot more work to be done and we'll be getting a new canvas as well soon, so stay tuned to check it out.